Yes, my Between the Liners, welcome back to the latest episode of the Old Trafford Vlogs. It's that time again, I'm driving up to Manchester, it's a long drive, I'm by myself. Looking forward to the drive back home as well after the game. It's Manchester United versus FC20 in the best competition in Europe, the Europa League, and I'm so excited. You guys know I love going to see my teams play, I love going to watch United play. I don't care if Champions League's on, United playing in any competition is bigger than any other competition that's on during the day. Anyways, FC20, Ten Hogs, former team. I think he played there for a long time. I'm pretty sure he was a manager there as well. I believe he spent 23 years there at the club. It's a team that he supports, but there's no time for sentiment today. I want a win. We need to make a mark in this European competition. We've already won the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup in the last two seasons. I want to win the Europa League this season. Let's lay down a marker, three trophies in three years, get a bit of our pedigree back up in Europe because we've been lacking ever since post Fergie. So I need a good result. I'm expecting a strong team. I'm expecting Marcus to start. Obviously he got uh, rotated in the last game and didn't start. So I'm expecting a start today, to be honest. And look, I'm gonna predict United 3-1, 20 are in decent form apparently. I think they're in fourth position in the league. But yeah, stay tuned for more footage of the warm up the stadium you can see me right behind the away bench as well so that's going to be good content for you guys and yeah make sure you like the video subscribe etc etc see you in a bit
Yes, people, I'm on my way home still. Um, I'm not even going to tell you what time it is right now, but 1 1 Man United versus FC 20. And I'm not going to lie, a bit disappointed, man. I just feel like we didn't control the game at all. We allowed 20 to play their style of football and fair play to them. They wasn't afraid, they was comfortable in possession. They tried to create different avenues down the fullback areas and even sometimes they tried to knock it along possess different threats and they haven't done themselves any harm and you know what shout out to the FC20 fans some of the best set of away fans I've seen at Old Trafford for me personally doesn't compete with Charlton like two years ago in the Carabao Cup but yeah I just feel like the performance was a bit flat the substitutions substitutions didn't change the game from Ten Hag I also felt like he should have probably changed it a bit earlier on but he didn't Garnacho probably had a bit of an impact. Two major positives. Ericsson's finish was class. Great finish. And also Marcus Rashford. He's... I'm not going to say he's back. I'm not going to say he's the 30-goal striker yet. But he's really getting there. I can feel it. You can see it in his sharpness, in his movements, in his dribbling, in his taking on of, of the opponents. There's, there's something there and I'm feeling alive and I think it's coming. 
But yeah, overall, a really disappointing team performance, to be honest. And I feel like Ten Hag, Ten Hag has to take some of the blame. But he's playing against his former team, FC20, his boyhood club. Is there a bit of sympathy there? Did he go easy on them? I don't know. Probably, Obviously, the competitor he is, he didn't do that. But fair play to FC20. They were competitive from the start. The fans were incredible, as you can probably see from the footage. A bit disappointed. Drove all that way from London and back to see a 1-1. Couldn't even get the win. Ugarte was a bit shaky as well, by the way. Doesn't really look match fit. So I was a bit concerned about that. But yeah, um, hopefully you like the video. Make sure you comment, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to be home soon and try to edit this for you guys ASAP. But yeah, stay tuned. Peace out. More Europa League and Old Trafford Vox to come. Between, Between lines. Lines.